Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, we have this trouble with the number 5 uh, ventilation fan. It gave an ab abnormal alarm and we need to investigate what is the main cause of this alarm. So come and join me in this new vlog. So the engine room fan number two is already not working. The motor is defective. So with the previous electrician already did his requisition. So this is the number five. Now I did the isolation. Before touching anything, make sure that you isolate the system and you do the lockout tag out and make a permit to work so that we can assure the safety of every crew or every one that will be working on this unit so proper PPE must be observed before doing this kind of job since it is the main breaker that is tripping then I suspect there is a short circuit on the lines although we already switch off the main breaker it is still important to test all the lines if it is really properly isolated. Please make this as your habit before touching anything into the control panel. So after checking, we can now proceed to the proper investigation. During the checking, I have noticed that there is a discoloration on the terminal of the contactor. So I have decided to open the main contactor. And this is what I have found. So I have decided to dismantle the main contactor and see what is the condition. If I can still clean it or really change it. So how is the proper checking of the contactor? Let's bring this to the electrical workshop and find out. So my style is I go directly to the continuity of each and every contact. I will push the coil manually and see if there is still continuity. As to this contactor, as you can see, that it's giving an open line. So it means this unit is already defective. You can also check the condition of A1 and A2, but I did not do in this unit since I have already found out that the contactor is already defective. I even removed the cover of the contactor to see the conditions of the contacts. But the contactor is really defective. Good thing that we have a spare contactor, although it is already used, but it can still be used. So I was thinking that the main contactor got burned because maybe there is another reason. So I did not connect the secondary line and I want to check the load side. So I went to the load side which is the variable frequency drive. 
The reason why I did not connect the secondary lines after the contactor is to check the other end of the power cables if there is a short circuit in the middle. After checking, the cables are okay so I have decided to check now the VFD in which I am having a low resistance enough to burn the main contactor. So the BFD is defective but I still want to check the electrical motor if it is good or not. Suspecting that it might be the electrical motor that had caused the BFD to be defective. So I disconnected the power cables and checked the resistance of the motor. In which I have found out that the windings of the motor is in good condition. So after the investigation, we have found out that we have a burnt main contactor and we changed that one. And then there's a reason why the main contactor got burnt. So we need to do a further investigation for that one. So I have found out that the variable frequency drive is shorted. So I'm still not that satisfied with the variable frequency drive. I'm suspecting maybe there is a problem with the motor. That's why the variable uh, frequency drive got shorted. So I still move to another checking which I check the motor and the motor is in good condition. Before I join, we already have this motor trouble in the one of the engine room fans. So we have five fans and as of now only three are running. So we need to keep at least this number five running. And to be able to do that, we need to make a modification on the wiring diagram by, by passing the uh, VFD. And to do this, we need the approval of the uh, electrical superintendent. So I'm doing a modification right now and then I will submit it to them and we will wait for their approval. So the idea is that you will still be able to operate the system remotely through alarm monitoring system. You will still be able to operate the system locally and then the alarms will still be there. The indication on the alarm and monitoring system that it is running should be there. So uh, I'm also planning to um, post the wiring diagram at the end of this video. And then if you want, you can do your own modification. And after that, let's compare whatever I did on the modification which I submitted. And then the next troubleshooting, the uh, application of this modification, I will do that on the second part of this video and then I will explain it to you why I end up with that uh, new wiring diagram. I will also explain to you the wiring diagram, the operation of the system and then whatever the alter alteration that I will do onto the system. So let's do a actual interaction with this video and at least I hope you will learn from this and See you on the next part. So I will submit it right now and thank you.